In every city lies another city. That's where you'll find the ghosts. Sometimes you have to look closely. Time washes away the footprints, but not the memory of what once was. It may look the same, but don't be fooled. The lifetimes before you have a story to tell. Anyone can drive down Main Street and see an empty lot, a strip mall or a parking garage off in the distance. But how often do we stop and think about these nondescript places and really imagine how those same locations appeared in another lifetime? This isn't so much a history lesson, but more of a peek into my imagination, my overzealous passion for local history, and the people and places who are no longer here. Everything you see here in black and white has been lost in the name of progress. The creators called it urban renewal. My grandparents called it Bangor's biggest mistake. Since I began this project, I no longer see Bangor as it appears today. Any one of you may see the same scenery day in and day out, but my imagination tells me otherwise. The headlines will tell you Pickering Square is littered with loiterers and ne'er-do-wells, but I see butchers and other merchants lined up for another day's work. I hear the clacking of horseshoes and the crunching of dirt beneath a wagon wheel, and I wish I could have known my great-grandparents, who no doubt heard those things firsthand. So next time you're about town, take a look around and see if you can identify with your roots. There are some places that are immediately identifiable and others that may take a second glance. You might see them and you might not, but the ghosts are there, begging for your attention. They don't want to be forgotten, which is why I've created this project. My grandfather taught me to honor those who came and went before me, to remember the effect they had on my life. And to always remember, there are two things we can leave for the next generation. One is roots, the other is wings. Without his influence, without his stories, I would not be standing here telling my story. Maybe he's here too, providing light and guidance with all of the other ghosts of Bangor. <laughs>